Hello everyone, welcome back to my 4 star school YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to make this beautiful e-commerce close app. This is the project we will make after we finish this tutorial. We have this search bar on the top. Under the search bar, we have this new arrival section and the bags of sale section. This whole page can be scrolled. And also inside this new arrival, each item can be clickable and you can see the detailed information for different clothes. For example, I click this Gucci oversized hoodie. When I click it, you will be navigated to the Gucci oversized hoodie detail page. We can swap those images to see different models. And also those color can be clicked same as those size so back to our home page we, we can check this main code as well we have different model and we can change the color the color can be clicked and also for the size okay pretty excited huh and before we start I will assume you have uh, the basic knowledge about the flutter if you don't know the flutter Feel free to reach out my channel page, which is 4 Star School. You will find a Flutter tutorial. In that tutorial, you will familiar with the most commonly used Flutter widget and also learn how to customize it. After you finish this Flutter tutorial, I create another uh, Flutter UI from scratch tutorial. And you can also follow those a tutorial to make some beautiful flutter UI also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you like my video please sum up my video I will be really appreciate okay without further ado let's get started first I'm going to open my terminal and navigate to uh, my project folder Inside my project folder, I'm going to use the Flutter command to create a close app. And by hit enter, just wait a few seconds, the project will be created. And we're going to uh, open this project. So we're using this uh, Visual Studio Code. And open the folder. Uh, we're going to choose the project we created just now. And select the project folder and this close app and this is a very basic project and we're going to do some uh, setup so first uh, we need to import our asset just in this root folder create a asset folder and inside this access folder, we create two folders. One is icon, and another is images. Actually, uh, we're going to uh, just uh, import those two uh, folders. Okay, we're going to replace this. So we, we load the images successful. And we're going to change our pub basic ammo file. So in line 48, we're going to comment those out and change these to uh, SS images same as the icon SS icons Okay, let, and then hit save After a few seconds uh, we were able to use those SS so let's back to our main file and here I'm going to delete those stuff stay for widget and in our home I just going to declare a test widget I'm going to remove this title attribute and remove all the comments and let's save to create two folder under this lib folder and first one is models folder and the second one is screens folder under this screens folder we're going to create a home folder another one is detail 
folder and inside this home folder we're going to create our home.doc file and we basically just create a stateless widget and I just call it home page and remove those constructor for now I'm going to uh, import a library and here we're going to return a scaffold widget and inside scaffold we have this body attribute in the body we're going to just render a text widget I just call it home page then I will re uh, import this home page in our main so going to change this to home page and going to import it and let's save I'm going to click this run button uh, to test our project and here we're going to wait for a few minutes because this is the first time we install our APK in our emulator after a few minutes we were able to see our home page this text show on the top left corner and we can start from this point uh, before we actually follow those uh, prototype we're going to uh, do some uh, configuration for this project first I want to remove this uh, status bar so I'm going to uh, use the system Chrome to remove the status bar so above this uh, material app I'm going to use uh, system Chrome dot uh, set system UI overlay and UI o overlay style and I'm going to use a uh, uh, system overlay style overlay style and I'm going to uh, hide the status bar so in the status bar I'm going to change its color to uh, transparent Okay, and the other thing is I want to remove uh, this debug banner so inside this material app we have this debug show banner I set to force and also in this scene data I'm going to uh, declare some color for this project so first is this background color I'm going to set to the Uh, dark white and then uh, for the primary color I send as our uh, uh, essence color essence color is okay let's save now we're able to remove the status bar as well as the banner and actually we can start from this point so let's back to our prototype here I'm going to divide this home page into four parts the first one is this custom app bar then is this search bar and the third part is this new arrival and the last part is this best of sale so we're going to start from this custom app bar so let's back to Visual Studio Code uh, find our home.dart file we're going to create a widget folder inside our home folder so in the home folder 
uh, I'm going to replace this text widget uh, with the single trial scroll view. Single trial scroll view uh, because I want this homepage can be scrollable. So inside this uh, single trial scroll view, we have this child attribute. I'm going to use a column widget. And inside this column widget, we have a children attribute. And also, we will uh, give the close axis alignment to start. Okay, so let's save. Then we're going to make these uh, custom ad bar. Let's create a custom ad bar file inside this widget folder. I'm calling it custom ad bar. Star. And inside this custom ad bar, I'm going to create a stateless widget. Stateless widget, I'm going to call it custom ad bar. Uh, and import library. And also de uh, delete the constructor for now, because uh, I don't think I need this constructor for now. And inside this container, uh, I'm going to use a uh, road widget. This is the first row and this is the second row. And I'm going to use the row widget. I implement a uh, child, a uh, children attribute. And here, as you see, we have this red uh, emoji. So I'm going to use the rich text. For the emoji, you can go to this emojipedia.org and you can find these eyes. So here, I'm going to copy this emoji. So back to uh, Rich Spherical. And we have a first row. So first row, we're going to uh, to clear our uh, children, it's uh, actually it's a rich text. Uh, I'm going to use a uh, rich text here. So for the text attribute, I'm going to use the text span. Right, the text span we have a uh, children attribute as well. So inside these children, uh, we have two children. The first one is the normal text, and the second one is the uh, emoji. We have two text span widget. So the second one is the emoji. I'm going to use. So for the first one, I'm going to type some placeholder. I think it should be inside this text attribute. Okay, let's save. And you are on the top left corner. And also, because this is a white color, so it's hard to see. So first, we're going to change the color so you are able to see those texts. I think uh, it's a style attribute. Uh, inside this style attribute, we have a text style. So inside this text style, I'm going to change the color to black. Okay, let's save. Now you're able to see these uh, text. Okay, sorry, I forgot to import these custom ad bar. So under this children, we're going to import the custom ad bar. Let's save. You see we have these uh, text as well as these uh, images show on the tab, top left corner. And I'm going to make some padding and to our container. So I set padding to use this edge inset only. So for the top, I'm going to use the media query uh, to get our status bar, the height of the status bar. So I'm going to use of context uh, padding dot top. For the left and right, I just give a 25. 
So let's say our text is moved down a little bit. Next, I'm going to change the font size of this uh, text. So font size would be 22 and change the font weight using a bolt. Let's say we do the similar for this emoji text. Use uh, implement it is style text uh, using the text style and change it is a uh, font size to 22 as well. Let's say okay. So I think we put, uh, we finish the left part and then we finish this uh, icon. As you can see, we have these a uh, very small uh, yellow door about this icon so I'm going to use the stack widget in this case so I'm going to declare a stack widget and we have a, a chi children attribute inside this stack uh, first I will have this container and cont inside container I can have this icon so I have a child attribute I, I want to use the icon here I choose a uh, shopping car outlined it shopping car aligned it and also I need to uh, set it is color uh, by default it will be a white color so it's hard to see so I change it to the gray color let's say and now we'll be able to see this uh, shopping cart oh I forget to change this uh, background color of our scaffold so I first we're going to change the background color for scaffold to use our uh, background color okay then we back to custom app bar so we have this icon and also uh, we need to uh, have these uh, rounded uh, rectangle shape so we're going to implement the decoration inside this container I'll use box decoration okay so inside this box decoration I'm going to keep the color for this container I which is this white color and also for the border radius border radius uh, would be uh, circular border circular just 10 is enough then the border shadow and I'm going to set use the box, box, box shadow class and inside box shadow class we have a color attribute and I'm going to use a uh, great color uh, with capacity set to 0 0.3 and then I set this spread uh, radius uh, so I'm going to set to 0 0.1 same for the blur radius set to 0 0.1 last is this offset going to use offset class set to 0 and 1 okay let's save now you're able to see we have uh, this a little bit round rectangle shape wrapped with this uh, shopping cart and I will give the padding for our container so you'll be able to see it so using edge inset uh, or 10 is enough okay now it's much clearer to see this rounded rectangle shape wrapped with this shopping cart and then is uh, the small yellow door on the top of the shopping cart so uh, under this container we're going to declare a position a widget so the child is going to use the container again for this container, I give the weight uh, 10, high, also 10, 
and I want to make it a circle. So I use I implement a decoration. I will use box decoration. Inside the box decoration, I going to uh, change the color to uh, our primary color. Context and use the primary color, which is the yellow one, and also change the shape to use a circle shape. Okay, and most important is uh, is this position. Uh, going to set right to 10 and top to 10 as well so let's save yeah we're able to see these uh, red uh, yellow dot above this shopping cart and we're going to set these uh, main axis alignment we're going to set to space between Okay, I think that's enough for our custom app bar. Next, we're going to finish this uh, search input. Let's create the search input dot under this widget folder. And here I'm going to create a file uh, called search input dot And I'm going to create a status widget called uh, search input and delete the constructor and also import library and as you see uh, in this search we have uh, the search bar first and also a list of tag so i consider to use a column widget so this one is our first column and the tag will be our second column so inside each column we can use the road widget and this is the first row and this is the second row okay now then back to uh, visual studio code and inside this container uh, i'm going to uh, use the colon widget and we have this uh, children attribute and we're going to create a uh, two rows right and also a list of tags so and I think I can create a list of tags I just call it tag these and first tag is a uh, woman and then is t-shirt the third one is dress Let's save so for our search part, and we're going to uh, use the text field. So implement this children attribute. So for the left part, we're going to use text field, and right part we can just use a container. So for the left part, and I'm going to uh, use our text field. In this text field, uh, we're going to set it is a uh, cursor color. Uh, I'm going to use a uh, color script and uh, using uh, I in order to style it a little bit, I'm going to implement the decoration attribute inside this uh, text field. So I'm going to use uh, input decoration class, input decoration class. So inside this input decoration, uh, we have a uh, lots of attribute we can uh, choose to implement. So I'm going to implement the color. So fill color would be uh, white. And when I save, uh, you're going to see we have a. Uh, Sorry, I, I think we, I forgot to import this search input as well. So back to the home, uh, under this custom app bar, we have this uh, search input. Okay, let's save. Okay, I know I, I forget to uh, give the weight of this uh, text field. 
by going to wrap it with our uh, flex bow widget and set the flex to 1 so let's save then you will be able to see our e uh, text input and I'm going to uh, style it a little bit more so for this uh, outline border I'm going to change it is border radius uh, to just 10 dot circular uh, 10 is enough and also uh, I would like to remove the border so I so for the border side I'm going to set to none okay so let's say uh, it's very uh, it's hard to see so let's change the color to something different and uh, we will be able to see let's save okay I think I need to implement this field uh, attribute to true as well and we'll be able to see this uh, red uh, text appear okay next is the him text and also the him style uh, prefix icon so for the hint text and we need still in, in this uh, input decoration but outside this uh, out outline input border so we're going to under it so we declare a uh, hint text so for the hint text I just place search uh, Also, the him text style. I'm going to use text style for the text style, and I change the colors to gray, and also font size, size font size to 18. Let's say we will be able to see our him text, and also after the him text, uh, I'm going to set it is prefix icon. Pre, I think it's oh in should be inside this uh, input decoration. We have this prefix icon attribute. I'm going to use a container uh, inside this container. Prefix icon, yes. I forgot to keep a comma. And inside this container, uh, we have uh, a child attribute. So I just use image access and use our icon. So which is ss icons search let's save but we need to keep the weight maybe it's too large so for the weight I use just set to 20 ss so mistype the search let's save now you're able to see oh I think it's still too large I'm going to keep some padding for our container. So container, I set some padding using this or set to 15. Now our icon should be uh, the perfect size. Okay, and now we're going to implement uh, these uh, filter icon. Under this flexible widget, I'm going to declare a container widget. Uh, remember, we should be inside the same row. And for this container, I'm going to set this some margin. I uh, use edge incest uh, only a left. I uh, just give a ten margin. And for the padding, I will use edge inset or set to fifteen. And we have a decoration. We use the box decoration because uh, I want to style it a little bit. We have this round rectangle border. So we're going to uh, first we need to change the color to use a primary color. Primary color. And then we change the border radius. Uh, circular uh, just 15 okay after that we implement the child and we use image.ss 
I'm going to use the icon from the SS. I think it's the filter icon. And also we need to set it is width, otherwise it will be too big. So we save. And you're able to see we have this icon here. And also the search bar on the left. And we need to give it the padding for this overall container. We're going to give the padding. Okay, I think it's margin, sorry. So we could use in uh, edge inset only. So for the top, uh, give me 25, left uh, 25, uh, right as well, 25. Let's save. Remember, we need to change this red color to white. So let's save. And now I think it's uh, similar like this. Okay, so under this uh, first row, we're going to implement our second row. So for the second row, it's very easy. So we're just using the map function uh, in the list. So we're going to implement it is a uh, children attribute. We just use the text list and we use this mapped function. Inside, we're going to return a container. So for the each container, and we have a child, which is a text widget, and which is this text inside this text this. And we're going to convert this entire uh, tag list to this. Then we're going to remove this square bracket. So let's save for now. So you see we have a, a list of container. And we're going to style it a little bit. So first is this text. We use the style, text style. So for the text style, uh, we're going to uh, change it is color. Uh, I think it's great one will be fit. And also for the container, we're going to implement it is decoration. So we use box decoration. So in this box decoration, we're going to change it border radius. Border radius. We are going to use border radius dot circular, and we set to ten. Then we change the color to our essence color. Use sim dot context. Essence color. Let's save for now. Okay, I think we need some padding. So padding, we use edge inset or set to 10. Okay, that's pretty good. So I think last one is margin. So margin, we have a right and top. So for the right, we can use this edge the only uh, for the top. I think we can set to 10. Send as the right set to 10 as well. So let's save. Okay, now it's pretty good. Similar uh, like this uh, prototype. Next, we're going to implement this new arrival section. But before we implement this new arrival section, we notice actually those two widget will be the same. So we can make a common reusable widget for both section. So Let's create a new file called category list. So I'm going to call it category uh, list star, and I'm going to create a stateless the widget first, and also call it category list and remove this constructor, also import the library material .dar. and then inside this category and I'm going to uh, declare a variable uh, which to store uh, those different text uh, which is this one new arrival and the bags of sale so I think uh, I think I need to declare a variable, so a final string, I call it title, and implement this uh, constructor by passing those title. So we can actually implement. Also, I think this is a road widget, 
we're going to use a road. So the first row will be the title, and the second row will be another uh, row with uh, this text on the left and icon on the left. So back to uh, Visual Studio Code. I'm going to use our uh, road widget. So with this children attribute, we have a text widget for our left row, and also we have a row widget for the right part. So the text widget will be the title we pass the in. So for the right widget, uh, we have uh, this text widget. Again, so for the text widget, we have this uh, view all, and then we have uh, the icon. So I just use the uh, uh, icon widget, but I want to uh, customize its size, so I wrap it with the container widget. So we have this child, we use this icon, I will use the icons arrow. A forward arrow, a forward iOS. Okay, so let's say for now, and we're going to implement here. So category list. So for the title will be new arrival. Or spell. Okay. Let's save, and you will see where this text show here. Uh, don't worry, I I'm going to remove it, and I will place this category list uh, inside our uh, new arrival section. So here I just want to uh, show it on our screen and customize it a little bit. So for this uh, container, I'm going to give it the margin or padding. So here I just use the padding. I'm using a uh, semantic, uh, semantic, and I set the horizontal, uh, horizontal to 25 and vertical to 20. Okay, so let's save, and then I'm going to style this title. For the title, uh, I'm going to use the style uh, attribute, the text style widget, style. In this text style, and we have uh, changed this uh, from way to bold, and also from size change to 22. Let's say okay, then we're going to change this uh, build or still use the style text style widget. So in this text style, we're going to change the color uh, to our primary color. And then change it is uh, a phone weight and phone size. So for the phone weight, I'm going to use this bolt. So for the phone weight, I, a phone size, I'm going to use 18. Let's say. So the last one is our uh, icon. So here I'm going to uh, decor use the decoration uh, box decoration here uh, because we have this uh, rounded rectangle border. So I'm going to set it is border radius. So filler set to ten, and also use the color. Color is our primary color. Of context and primary color. Let's save. And we need to change the color for this icon as well. So change to white and also size to 15. And we need to give this container a padding. So we use edge inside the or. So set to 6 and also use a size box uh, to give a gap between those two so size box 
width set to 10. Then we'll give these a uh, row uh, main x alignment to space between. Okay, I think that's all for this title. And then we're going to implement this uh, new arrival section and place our category list inside this new arrival section. So back to uh, Visual Studio Code. I'm going to create uh, a new arrival section, uh, not a file. I just call it new arrival. So for this new arrival section, uh, I'm going to create a stay less the widget for a new, new arrival. I remove the constructor and I will import a library. So for this new arrival, and I'm going to use a, a list view. And before we go use the list view, uh, I actually need to implement uh, the single this single car first and so here I just left it empty empty uh, I'm going to implement this uh, new arrival item first so I first I just leave it empty and I'm going to create another uh, widget uh, which is called close the close item start and in close item uh, I'm going to uh, create a stay less the widget again uh, close item so remove the constructor and import the library as well so here I just call it close and I'm going to import in our main so we can see so for thing is called close item let's save we need to import Okay, oh, I forgot to use the comma here. Let's save. And you see we have this close uh, text show on the screen. First, we're going to declare our close module. So I'm going to create a close.dar and create a class called close. And inside this close, we have a title. And we also have a subtitle, as you see here. Okay, move it a little bit right. This one is our title and this one is subtitle and the price and the image URL. And also when you move to another page, we have a list of images showing detail page. So we're going to follow the same structure and declare our close class. So we have a subtitle and also have the price. And then we have a, a image URL. Then we have a list of string, uh, which is uh, a detail URL. So we're going to implement it is constructor, and we're going to pass those this dot title and this dot subtitle, this dot price, and this dot image URL, and last one is this dot detail URL. Okay. And we're going to create a static uh, method which return a list of clothes. And we're going to call it generate clothes. Okay, inside this method, we're going to return a list of clothes. So for the first clothes, and it would be uh, I think it's Kuchi uh, Oversize and for the subtitle would be Huti and then the price would be uh, 79, uh, 79 and, and the image would be SS images uh, arrival one dot pick and it's a list of 
our image will be assets which is arrival one dot pick and the second uh, uh, image is assets images and detail to dot pick so this is our first close and we're going to create the second close so for our second close we have a, a main code for subtitle would be Ryan jacket and we'll cost uh, 39 and also the image arrival to the pack last one is a list of uh, image going to, I think uh, did I miss something? Oh, for this, I think it's SS images arrival to the pack images the pack save still have error here oh I think it's a typo okay let's save so we're going to use close close object to render our close item so let's back to close item and first we're going to create a attribute for close and I'm going to import a class which is our models and then I'll implement this constructor okay so we can actually use the association um, inside this close so first we're going to return I think it's a card widget and inside this card we're we going to style it a little bit and I'm going to use uh, for around the rectangle border for it is shape rounded a uh, rectangle border so you set the body border radius to uh, probably uh, 15 and next is the child inside is a car and I'm going to use a column widget so this will be our first column and this one will be our second so I'm going to use our column widget and also you notice we have these uh, favorite icon I'm going to use the stack widget to place this icon on the top of our uh, this container so inside this uh, child I'm going to create a column widget and I'm going to set it is uh, cross alignment to the center because uh, you see those texts uh, you uh, actually align the center and then uh, we're going to have a, a list of children attribute so the first children would be uh, the stack widget uh, we have a children inside this stack so the first stack would be our container and we will change it is image here uh, so I uh, here I'm going to uh, set this container height will be uh, 170 and also weight will be 200 so for the decoration I'm going to use box decoration and inside this box decoration I implement it is border radius border radius and I set to uh, circular 15 
and then it's this image attribute I'm going to use a uh, declaration image and inside this declaration image uh, I have uh, this image attribute I'm going to use access image and because we can access to this close object we're going to use uh, this image URL inside this close and also we need to change this uh, fit Sorry, I, it should be inside this decoration image and we need to change the fit to box fit uh, fit high okay so let's save I think uh, we need to uh, show it in our uh, home so on here I'm going to use uh, First, I just uh, copy one object here just to uh, test it. Here, I'm going to pass. I'm going to import it. I will remove it after we finish the style. I'm going to save it, and you're able to see we have this uh, model show here. And this is our first bar and. I'm going to give the margin to this container so I'm going to set the margin to probably for all and set to A and you will see we have this margin and this white uh, similar like this then we can going to implement the rest so for the rest and I'm going to uh, first I implement this uh, favorite uh, icon. So we're going to use the position for trial. Uh, I'm going to use container as well because I want to style it a little bit. So for the trial uh, inside the container, I think it's icon. You can use icon uh, favorite. Right, and say we need to uh, position this position widget so for the right uh, right I set to 20 and for the left uh, for the top I set to 15 so let's save it will show here one top oh sorry uh, I missed place this one uh, this one should be inside this stack widget okay other after this container let's save shown here and also we need to uh, change the color for this icon so color I will set to red also the size I will change it smaller I'm going to set to 15. 15. Okay, so for the decoration, I'm going to use the box decoration. Inside this box decoration, uh, we have the color. I'm going to use the white color, but I will say uh, set it is. Um, uh, or cube opacity to 0 0.9 and also shape will be circle okay let's say we need to give the padding as well set to A okay now it's pretty good Okay, so implement the rest part and we need to outside these children so I think it's after this stack widget uh, we have uh, three text so the first text would be a uh, close dot title and the second text would be close dot subtitle subtitle and the third text would be uh, close 
uh, price. Let's say, and we're going to style it a little bit. So for our first title, and we use the text style. For the text style, we're going to change the uh, the font weight to bold, and also the height to one point five. And I just copy this style, and I'm going to paste here and here as well. But for the last one, I'm going to change the color as well. So for the color, uh, I'm going to use a theme of context primary color. So let's save. Okay, let's save. Okay, now it looks uh, similar. Now we can dynamic render those uh, clothes items. So let's back to our new arrival dot file. So inside this new arrival, I'm going to replace this text widget to our column widget. Uh, inside this column, we have a children attribute. I'm going to place this uh, category list as well as this uh, clothes item inside this one. So I'm going to find our uh, category list. I'm going to paste it here and import library. Okay, let's save. And also for the clothes, I'm going to create a clothes list. I'll use the static method with declare inside this uh, clothes model. Uh, clothes. First, we're going to import a library. Can call the generated clothes method. We can get a list of clothes, and I think in this hole I can remove this clothes item as well. I just remove it, and we can also remove those uh, unused import. Remove and save. Okay, so in here. Uh, under this arrival and I have a container because in here I'm going to use a list of view and it would be the horizontal so I need to give the height of this container so I probably set to 280 and for the trial I'm going to use the list of view and separate it so I'm going to implement those one by one. So for the item count, I just pass this close list dot length, and for this separate separator, and I'm going to uh, just use a size box, and I'm going to uh, return a size box. So the weight would be just ten. Okay, and I think the last one. Check. So the last one is this item builder. So the item builder, and I'm going to uh, return our clothes item. Next. So for the clothes item, inside this clothes item, we can uh, pass this clothes list and use the index to access each item. Okay, and also we need to change the this view to horizontal. We have this scroll direction and set to horizontal. Okay, let's say for now we need to import this new arrival in our home. Okay, and import. Let's save. Now you're able to see we have these, uh, which is similar like this. Okay, I think we still need some margin and padding. So for this e uh, this the view, and uh, we can set the padding. Uh, we use the edge incest dot symmetric and horizontal set to 20, 20, 25.
Okay, this time is much similar. Okay. So next we're going to implement this best of sales section. So back to Visual Studio Code and under this widget folder we're going to create a best sale.dart file and inside this best of sale we're going to create another sale list widget and call it best sale. Okay, remove this constructor for now. We're going to import a library. So in this uh, best of sale, we can reuse this uh, category list here. So I'm going to return a colon widget. So the first colon and it will be our uh, category list. Let's green list and we need to also sorry I think we forgot to uh, implement this children attribute and we can pass the category list for title I think it's best or sale and also we need to set this close alignment and set to start okay save we need to import this in our home so under this uh, arrival going to import library so let's save and you'll be able to see we have this best of sale under the new arrival section so for the best of sale and we're going to use the car widget so as you see, this is a car widget. Inside this car widget, we have uh, the row and also have uh, this uh, favorite color. And there are many ways to implement these. And here I would like to use the Stark widget. And we can easily uh, position this uh, favorite icon. So inside this car widget, first we're going to uh, give it the shape, uh, which is uh, a uh, rounded border, re rounded rectangle shape border. So we can set the border radius. Border radius dot circular, and I'm going to set to fifteen. So for the child, and I'm going to uh, use the stack widget. Uh, cause you see we have this uh, favorite icon need to position so inside this stack widget we have uh, this row first is our row and then is our positioned widget all right we have a child inside this position and we're going to implement this icon which is the uh, icons favorite save then we're going to implement the like, customize it a little bit more so for this road widget and I'm going to uh, implement it is a uh, children inside this children I will use this clip rect uh, widget and we pass the border radius Border, border. I'm going to set to set to. Are you circular set to fifteen? And then is the child. I uh, using the image SS. Uh, here I use SS images and best one dot pick and also need to change the weight of this image so use 80 okay let's save have these images and also I think we need to give some 
uh, padding for this row so I just wrap it with padding and use this edge inset I think A is too much probably 5 ok 5 is enough so for the icon this favorite icon so the position I will set it is position as top 0 and top 0 and right 0 let's say also change the color uh, which is red and also change the size to 15 and also we need to wrap this icon with a uh, container and say it is a uh, padding to A and also the decoration uh, which is back box decoration box decoration and I'm going to change it is uh, shape and also the color so for the color I'm going to use uh, just white color but change it is opacity colors Y opacity set to 0 0.9 and also for the shape I think it's a box shape circular circle okay let's save yeah it's good and then we continue finish this road uh, after the click, uh, clip rack uh, we have uh, another uh, column widget which have uh, three text column widget which have these three text and also I would like to keep a little bit gap between those two so I use sized box and for the width I set to 10 for the colon I'm going to implement this children attribute so also set it is cross alignment to start okay so for the children I'm going to implement a three text so many so women oversize so the second text is t-shirt so the third text the third text would be the price okay let's save and also we need to style the text so we use text style widget so for the text style widget and we're going to change the font weight and font height so I think it's font weight change to both and also height change to 1.5 and also we can just copy this part and also paste it here same as the last one but for the last one we're going to change the color as well so it should be our primary color let's save so in here you could either set the padding of this outside container or also you can set the margin for this card widget so we're going to use edge inset symmetric and horizontal and set to 25 let's save okay now it's uh, similar like this prototype okay I think we finished uh, the first home page of our e-commerce clothes app and I will left this uh, button navigation bar and also this detail page in our second video so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out the second part of this tutorial also if you can sum up my content I will be really appreciate okay thanks for watching I will see you in next video